The best extension for Amazon merch sellers just got even better. In this video, I'm gonna try to walk you through the need to know of all the ways it can help you as an Amazon merch seller to increase your sales, whether that involves research or creating products. And eventually I heard they're gonna be working on a designer as well. So let's get to it. First, I wanna show you the research aspect. I'm in the Merch Dominator web app. I'm gonna to go to MBA and KDP and click best sellers. Now, by default, it pulls in all the best selling products from Amazon Merch. Uh, I can't say all actually, it fills in all the ones that it can find. Uh, it doesn't index every product though, only Amazon has that database. I'm gonna show you a hack though. Under sorting, click newest and then hit search again. It's gonna look for recently uploaded products to Amazon that have sold. Because whether you knew this or not, Amazon does show us the date created date and they show us a BSR if the product has sold. Its aim here is to help us find emerging trends, products that were just recently uploaded in the last day or two that have sold often can be those coming trends, uh, but it's not a guarantee that you'll find any either. So you're going to have to do some scrolling and look for repetition. Next, let's pivot over to the Chrome extension, the Merch Dominator Chrome extension uh, in the Google Chrome store. Now, once you have it installed, you can go to Amazon and do a normal query and it's gonna add a bunch of functionality. In this case, what I did, oh, and by the way, there's a little icon hanging out up here in Chrome, so if you need to open it up, just click there, and you can change all of the settings. Right now, I'm using the list view. I find that the most helpful when you're doing like real research. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up by clicking the icon on the hanging out on the side of my screen. I've already performed the search, and what I'm showing you now is it is looking at all of the search results. I had it query seven different pages of Amazon search results. Normally you go one page at a time and it's a very slow process. I can tell it to go look at as many pages as I want. In this case, seven, it looked at 119 products and returned everything. If you saw my recent top five niches of the week video, Gavin Newsom shirts were trending. Well, now I've got all of the Gavin Newsom shirts from seven pages, but I can sort them by BSR. And by the way, it might be better for the video if I make the thumbnails bigger so you can get an idea of some of the shirts and their designs and what they look like. Um, you can click to get more info on the product. You can uh, click the info icon right here and actually download the design in case you wanted to like study the color scheme, uh, use AI to remix it, etc. By the way, you have the ability to do filters right here. What I like to do is use my filter that says has sold, exclude brands, and is non-sponsored. Okay, so if you wanna walk through of what that means, it means I'm excluding all of the protected brands that I don't have the right to sell because their IP, their intellectual property is protected. I am excluding ads, so non-sponsored only, which in this case, I performed a search in the political niche, so there's not any ads anyways, but theoretically, if you were performing a, niche, a search in maybe basketball or sports or something, uh, you would see ads. And then right here, it's filtering out anything that's not Merch by Amazon or KDP. So I can hit filter and it's gonna apply all of those filters and it, you can see over here in the product count, it removed about 10 products that did not fit that criteria. So again, I can sort by either best seller rank right here or one of my favorite things to do, I can sort by date published right here and now I'm looking at the most recent uploaded products in this niche which is usually indicative of the best entries because, I mean, let's be real, Gavin Newsom's been a politician forever. There's probably shirts that have been up on Amazon for five, six, seven, eight years, if not longer, they're gonna be hard to compete with, but not all these shirts are created equal. There's gonna be some additional uh, ways in, ways to crack this niche. For instance, Newsom 2028, uh, Newsom for Prison 2025, uh, King Clown, Newsom 2028. So, there's different ways to get in and one of the easiest ways to find those entries is right here under date published. If you switch it from list view to grid view, you also get one of my favorite views, essentially a really quick way at a glance to audit the entire niche. Now there's a lot going on here. What I find most valuable is this right here, the BSR range distribution. It's gonna look at all the products on this page and it's gonna give you the average BSR range. Now if you want like the top best trends available, you're gonna to wanna to find niches that are averaging under 100,000. This Gavin Newsom shirt though does not do that, which I actually like, it implies in my mind lower competition because the highest end BSRs, which mean actually the lowest BSRs, because a BSR of one is the best you can ever get, uh, it's a relative data point, that's gonna be on everybody's radar that you're competing with. But if you have a BSR that's averaging, you know, let's say 300,000, 600,000, even a million, 
with minimal that are not sold, only 4.1% in this case, that to me is a really good opportunity to make some evergreen consistent sales, not getting rich off of this niche. If you want a niche that you can get rich off of, you need to see that one through 100K BSR uh, spiked a lot higher. But I want to make you guys aware, this is here in the grid view. So again, open the Chrome extension. Previously, I had the list view. I turned that off and I turned on the grid view. In a recent update to the Merch Dominator Chrome extension, they now allow you to use published settings, which already existed in Amazon Merch, except now we can save as many templates as we want for our published settings. So we can save our product selection, we can save the marketplace selection, we can save every attribute associated with publishing new products to Amazon Merch, all from the Chrome extension, and then easily load these templates later on. When creating new t-shirts, for instance, we can save the fit types to our template. Uh, as you can imagine, like whether you wanna have a template for youth size or non-youth size, like I would recommend both because when you do youth size, you have more stricter keyword uh, restrictions. You can save color templates, like select all the dark colors, all the light colors, apply them in a single click. Um, all these things are gonna save you so much time when you're creating products in Amazon Merch. Uh, you can even save a template for publishing designs to the front or the back. So if you've never experimented with publishing to the back of a product, you should maybe experiment with that. You can even templatize your royalties and you have a little royalty calculator there where you can say how much profit do I wanna make per sale. When it comes to creating products with background colors like pop sockets, you can set the background color to your template to default it to it anytime you use that template. You can also mess around with the scale of the design that you're adding since they often need to be scaled down. When it comes to creating tumblers, you have the ability to do some really cool things. You can add your design, and then you can mess around with, do you want your design to be on one side to duplicate the design, which it'll do on your computer for you. It'll create that new file and upload it to your Amazon Merch listing for both sides. You even have the ability to create a pattern as you see here, and you can mess with the preview to double check that it's gonna look the way you intended. So super cool and just a nice way of unlocking additional sales for tumblers. While they don't have the highest profit margins, it's definitely a nice way to increase the appeal. This is one of the coolest new features of the Merch Dominator extension. Doing your listings SEO is one of the most time consuming things. Well, with the AI listing creator, which reads your design, it'll do your full SEO, your title, brand, bullets, everything. From here, you can check for trademarks in a single click and it'll compare to the USPTO as well as the Patent and Trademark Offices on different marketplaces. So keeping your account safe is a huge deal. Up at the top, you have the ability to find and replace keywords uh, efficiently where it'll do it in bulk. You can also use their list of banned keywords that they maintain, and you have the ability to add to it if there's any specific keywords you want to make sure are not included in your listings, and you can add it by each marketplace as well. So. That's extremely powerful. We know on Amazon Merch, keeping your account safe is of paramount importance. Uh, so if you're using the AI listing from keywords, just do a, a quick look over as you do. You also have the ability in the app to look up keyword suggestions, both from Amazon and from Redbubble. So you won't be missing out on any relevant keywords because you essentially just type in your primary keywords, do a quick scroll through, and you'll find everything that is trending on both Amazon suggested, as well as Redbubble complementary tags as you see here. Once you've added enough tags, you can use the AI to regenerate your listing and it will try to include them in your primary SEO to essentially help you rank when people search for similar terms on Amazon that will hopefully assist the algorithm in understanding, hey, this is what I'm selling. I'm optimized around these phrases please show my listing and hopefully you increase your sales as a result. Now that you've seen all the new functionality, let's bring it all together. We're gonna save our template, then we're going to apply the template as if we're creating a brand new listing and you'll see just how efficient this is for all of your future Amazon Merch listings. You're seeing it in real time right here. Process the t-shirt, the tumbler, the pop socket. It applies all of our settings, the pricing, the colors, etc. And if you wanna switch this up and go into a different template, it's just a few clicks away. Now guys, if you're interested in using Merch Dominator, they just recently added a lifetime offer that did not used to exist. Now this may seem like a lot, but here's the thing. If you're gonna be on Amazon Merch for a long time, for instance, I've been on since 2017, early 2017, 
So anything lifetime that I bought back then that I'm still using today is a massive deal. And I actually have tools where that's the case. So Merch Dominator lifetime offer is live. I don't know how much longer it's gonna be available, but I will drop my link to it in the description so you can take advantage if you're looking to enhance your research and listing creation uh, process. So guys, thank you for watching till the end. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another new video.